Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're gonna learn how to create a multiplication table in Microsoft Visual Basic. So multiplication table is basically just the multiplication of a number. So let's get started. So in the multiplication table, we will display it in a list box. So first we will create a list box. You can see in the second column and fifth row here is our list box. So we will create this here. And then what we will do, you can either take the input of the number in a text box or you can take in an input box, but we will take the input in a text box. This is our text box. Let's clear this text first text and now we will show the multiplication table on the click of the command button we will change the caption of the command button to multiply and now it's time for coding click on the command button and here so let me explain you how you can create a table and what is the logic behind it so for example if you have taken input from the user 8 then in the display what should come 8 multiply by first it start from 1 so 1 equals to 8 and then in the second column it should display 8 multiply by 2 is equal to 16 so to display this what you have to do as you can see the first number is first number will always be the same so we will use as this is our text box so the name of the text box will be text one dot text so we will print text one dot text and we will save the text one dot text into a keyword for example if we save this in m so what we have to print we have to print m then because this is visual basic we have to concat it with the next number so here it is x it's not a cross it's a x so to concat we will use our m person symbol and then in the double quote you have to write x double quote and then again concat so the third is one so the one should change every time for this we will take a for loop so, so to display this we have to use a for loop so for and we will start the value of i from 1 to 10 because the multiplication table is usually from 1 to 10 so i equals to 1 to 10 so here we have printed 8 which is our m and this symbol x which we have printed using this and then 1 2 so we have used a for loop and now we will concat it here we will write the i and then again a concatenation symbol and now you can see there is a equal to symbol so we will do the same thing we will just write a equal to symbol and then the last thing which we have to do is the 8 and 16 so in multiplication table it should increase every time so we will take another variable after this for loop so we will we can write for example p and in this p what we will save so here our m is equal to 8 and 8 equals to 1 equals to 8 and the for loop will take place second time then the 8 equal to 2 so we will write m multiply by i and now here we will concat the p i will once again explain what we did first we have taken the input of a number and saved it in m then we have printed it here so you can see a multiplication table look like this 8x1 equals to 8 and it means 8 1 times 8 so then we have to concat this 8 and x so m because this is our 8 then for the concat we use m person symbol and then x so here it is our x and then 1 so the one the value of this should increase every time so we have used a for loop so every time we will print an i the value will increase and then we have printed this equal to symbol and then our result we will execute this in our program and see what happens as i said click on the command button and as i in the as I explained the example first you have to save the variable we will save it in m and the name of our text box is text one dot text so in the coding write m is equal to we will use the value to convert it into a integer text one dot text you can either use a input box or also the text box it's your choice and the second we will write as I said in the example you have to get a for loop and for loop will start from i equals to 0 to 10 then it's time for our multiplication table so multiplication table will use a variable because we have to add the whole line into our list box so we will save it in a single variable so we will use for example n equals to as I said in the example this line will copy this 
and paste it here now the remaining things the p which i explained will be m multiplied by i because 8 ones are 8 we have to do that so m equals to i means 8 one time so we will start it from i have write here 0 here we have to write 1 and m star i now this is the calculation part the last thing remaining is that we have to add the item into the list box so add the syntax is list one name of the list box which is list one here then the add item and you can see item as string or index so item as string is our n because this will add this whole line into our list so we'll use the n and the last thing remaining is the closing the for loop which is closed by the keyword next now we'll run the program first enter a value we will enter 8 and click multiply you can see the whole printed but here i is written let's see how this error can be removed i should have made some mistake yes because i have written the i into double got the program thought that we have to display that it has to display the i alphabet but it has to display the value stored in i so use it without the double quotes now we'll run the program once again 8 and click here as you can see the whole table is printed here now we will try to display another number we will insert 9 now you can see the table is displayed after the first result so we will clear this first one so that only one table is shown here so to clear this we have to use the clear command we will use the clear command before the starting of the program means before taking the value so just write list one it's a predefined method in list so queues clear and now when you run the program enter any number for example we'll enter 8 multiply you can see the table now you can change the number and you can see the table is printed here you can insert any number you want and the table will be displayed here this is how you can create a multiplication table in microsoft visual basic hope you like the video if you like the video press the like button if you have any questions suggestion query please leave that in the comment box thanks for watching bye